Hi, everyone. Welcome to Behind the Mask. I'm Jason Posner, and we have an amazing show for you all today. And as always, we have our experts here to break down today's topic, everything you need to know about baby Brazilian butt lifts. So, Jason, let's just start off explaining to everybody what exactly a BBL, or Brazilian butt lift, is and why we've seen this procedure really increase by over 90% from 2015 to 2019, which is an incredible amount. I mean, it's really exploded. Now this is enlarging the buttock, okay? Typically, you know, people were using buttock implants for many years and that's still done, but much less so compared to what is more popular now, which is enlarging the buttock with fat. It's popularized in Brazil, and that's why it's called the Brazilian butt lift. That's where it started, but it's spread all over the world, you know, from Brazil, especially in Miami and in Florida and in Texas. Something that really strikes me, and I think I'm of the generation where we really glamorized the larger buttock area, and I can't really pinpoint why or how we got to this position, what is with the fascination, I think, in the older days. I think it's really interesting, and I think that it's a great procedure. I'm interested in it. Um, but as far as the difference between the two, um, you know, I don't really know a lot about. Well, listen, I, th I, think, I think part of it is shock value. You know, the, the thing that you see that's publicized the most that is, I love to, to make fun of some of my colleagues that, are really into this because it's all about the on the table Instagram pic. You know, Jason, it's like, yeah. it's all about the on table Instagram pic. And it's no long term result, but it's because they've injected all this fat into the buttock. And we all know not a lot of that's going to remain long term, but it's, it is pretty impressive when you look at the before and after, but it's like a five minute result. We don't do that in anything else, right? And then, you know, on the flip side of that, some of the people have had multiple procedures and they walk around with these huge buttocks that you look at and you're like, that doesn't look normal. You know, yeah. And, and yeah. I think it's also given that a bad name because sometimes the two big ones are not everyone else's aesthetic and the normal aesthetic and it brings down the procedure. And that's kind of how, you know, the baby Brazilian butt lifts came into play. Part of the reason was people didn't want that huge buttock that was with the traditional Brazilian butt lift. Yeah, it's a, it's a shock factor and it was very, you know, wildly grew, I think, uh, from social media. But I don't think that's, it's not the aesthetic for a lot of people seeking this procedure. In fact, if you talk to people that are very good at doing BBLs, they often say that they're doing cases that it's not making some huge, but it's just filling something out or giving it better shape. So that's the reality of where we are. But it's the kind of shock factor on Instagram and social media that people remember. Suppose a woman wants a bigger buttocks, but doesn't have a lot of fat. Okay. And that's where the concept of baby BBL came in which where you're taking women with not so much fat. And instead of just making the buttock bigger, you're strategically improving certain qualities of the buttock, like a hip dip or a certain area, or perhaps some dents. So that's where the baby Brazilian butt lift came into play. Yeah, and I think the other thing that we we definitely should to touch on is that this procedure, the biggest thing with BBLs or baby BBLs has been safety, you know, because it came out, it got very popular, and then all of a sudden that there was, uh, it was identified that there was quite a high mortality for BBL procedures compared to other plastic surgery procedures. But um, through kind of good science and studies, as we normally do in plastic surgery, uh, the procedure now, I think we have a very good handle on what's safe. Some of the people that we know very well uh, and have been on the Plastic Surgery Channel with us, educating people like Dan Del Vecchio have worked out a lot of that science. And now with the proper technique, it can be done, I think, extremely safely and with very, very good results. Well, if you like this episode, please press the like button below and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest on plastic surgery and more. Thanks for joining us this week on Behind the Mask. For Dr. Bill Adams and Ellery Milliger, I'm Dr. Jason Posner. Until next time.